Hi everyone, I'm Jason Hayes, Product Manager for Trimble Realworks, and in this video I'm going to show you a few things to help you get started using the viewer as quick as possible. I'm going to start out by opening the software by double clicking on the icon right on the desktop. Now once the software opens, I'm going to want to import some data. To do this, I'm going to click on the import icon and then click open. Now from the open dialog, I can select a number of different file formats including RealWorks projects that I may have got from a colleague or a service provider, or a generic file format such as LAS. Then I need to select the file that I want to open and then click on open. Once the project's loaded, we should see the point cloud in what we call the 3D view. To rotate around the point cloud, use the left mouse button and then move the mouse. To zoom in or out, use the scroll wheel. Scroll in to zoom in and scroll out to zoom out. Press and hold the middle mouse button or scroll wheel to move the point cloud in a panning motion. Next, I want to show you how to use the limit box to isolate a specific area of the point cloud to view or analyze. To open it, click the limit box icon and then click where you want the limit box to be placed. Now, you can modify the limit box in a number of ways to get the view just the way you like. You can modify the shape by clicking on this button and then clicking on any of the grab handles. It could be on the corners or on any of the six sides. And then you just move that grab handle to wherever you want the limit box to be placed. You can also pan by clicking this button and then clicking on any of these three axes or the shaded planes between them to pan the limit box. And you can also rotate the limit box just by clicking on any of these rotation circles, for example, to align it with this tunnel. And now, Rather than use that box, I'm going to click on the gizmo to toggle to change the shape. And then I'm just going to use these grab handles to change the shape of the limit box to be very close to just this area of the tunnel. And then I'm going to use the panning option. I'm just going to move it around so I can align it with the tunnel so that as I pan it along this axis, it's going to move along the length of the tunnel. You can see that the limit box is a very useful tool for viewing the point cloud, in particular when you want to view just a specific area. But sometimes you don't want to see the limit box itself, so you can click on the Show Limit Box button to toggle it on and off. And finally, let's open the measurement tool. Just click on the icon and then you can see the measurement tool and it's got a number of different options for taking measurements. We could simply take a measurement from one 3D point to another 3D point. We'll also show you your deltas. Or you can use some of the specialty measurement tools, such as this one, which allows you to take a vertical clearance from one object to another object below it. Once you've finished taking measurements, simply click on the door icon to close the tool. I'd like to thank you for watching this introduction to the Trumbull RealWorks viewer. For a more in-depth description of the capabilities, I recommend following up with the Quick Start tutorial.